Brownian motion. The first evidence that matter consists of tiny particles in motion was given by the English botanist Robert Brown. When Robert Brown was studying the pollen grains suspended in a liquid using a microscope, he discovered that pollen grains were dancing to and fro in a random manner. Similar haphazard motion can also be observed when small colloidal particles suspended in a liquid are examined under a powerful microscope. The zigzag motion is due to unequal bombardment between the suspended particles and the molecules of the surrounding medium. This irregular motion of suspended particles is referred to as Brownian motion. We shall now study movements of large and small particles suspended in liquids. Let us first look at an isolated large particle A suspended in a solution. A number of molecules hit particle A from all sides. On an average, the impact mutually cancels out. So, the resultant force on the particle is zero. Now, observe the particle B which is very small. Particle B is hit by less number of molecules. Moreover, it is not hit equally from all sides. Due to this, there is a resultant force. This resultant force alters the direction of particle B. When particle B moves, the direction of the resultant force also changes, resulting in a zigzag motion. Let us now understand Brownian motion with the help of an experiment. Fill a hollow glass cube with smoke particles. Place it under a low power microscope. Simultaneously, illuminate the cube with a light source. We observe that the smoke particles appear as bright particles moving in all possible directions, in contrast to the black background. This is an experimental evidence of molecular motion or Brownian motion.